Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. This is the traumatic moment a suicidal fish led to its death after getting fed up of its tiny tank. CCTV camera footage shows the fish, which has spent its entire six years of life in an increasingly small aquarium, smash through the lid and crash onto the floor. The owner of the aquarium said it was a six-year-old arapaima fish that he had managed to grow to 5.2 feet and was worth more than 50,000 renminbi, 5,400 pounds. He said it was not only very expensive, but it was a pet and he was devastated at its loss. Arapaima fish, however, can often become irritable in artificial environments and may leap out of the water if they feel constrained or harassed. The fish had already smashed against the lid of the tiny aquarium before the fatal accident. But when it tried again seconds later, the lid came flying free as it launched through the air. It then lands amongst a stand of plants, prompting a man inside the store to run off and get help as the fish rides around sending flower pots scattering. A short while later the man returns with help and they are seen attempting to put the injured fish back into the aquarium, where it died a short while later. The freak accident happened in the city of Baoding in China's Hebei province on June 5th. The arapaima is native to the Amazon River Basin in South America and is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world reaching lengths of up to 6.5 to 19.6 feet. They live relatively freely in the wild but can often become irritable when they are raised in fish tanks, due to space restrictions and environmental changes. Sometimes, this can even lead them to jumping out tanks. The International Red List of Endangered Species does not categorize how much threat it is, however, under because they do not have sufficient data to estimate. This incident quickly sparked heated discussions on the Internet, with one person saying, I feel like the family is very slow to respond. Another user said, the fish is too big to handle. A third commented, the tank is too small. Last year, harrowing footage showed the moment a tuna fish killed itself in an aquarium after it became plagued by flash photography. An unsettling video shows the fish swimming in the aquarium as dozens of visitors are taking pictures with the flash on. The bright flash startles the animal which becomes distressed and suddenly can be seen ramming against the glass knocking itself out. And this is the heartbreaking moment of a killer whale leapt from its tank in what animal activists believe was a suicide attempt. Viral footage shows the orca lying motionless for 10 minutes as she beaches herself on the edge of her tank. By Tom Malley. Arapaima fish are one of the world's largest freshwater species, capable of growing up to 15 feet long and weighing 440 pounds. They are found in the rainforest rivers of South America's Amazon basin and nearby lakes and swamps. Arapaimas, which are often green in color and boast large red tails, tend to stay near the water's surface before coming up to breathe. They obligate as air breathers, due to only being able to stay underwater for 10 to 20 minutes. Using a modified swim bladder that opens into the fish's mouth and acts as a lung, it makes a noisy, distinctive gulp that sounds like a cough and can be heard from far away. Arapaimas survive mainly on fish, but they're also known to eat fruits, seeds, and insects. Fierce predators, they can also use short bursts of speed to leap out of the water to grab birds, lizards, and even small primates from low-hanging trees.